Hey guys, welcome back to Back to School Reactions. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, this series, I think there's seven of them, um, called Hideas. Uh, the, I see a pot leaf in the light bulb. I'm assuming this is what they're talking about. Those of you who can see it. Uh, anyway, um, Kenny had said go ahead and do the whole series, and Kristen said six and seven are probably more uh, uh, content related, I guess, than than the others. Uh, so my plan is to just blast them all out, get them done. I don't know how long these videos will be. I don't know how long this will take, but I do intend to get through all seven. So uh, with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get this video started. Okay. This is uh, up church ideas one um, hey uh, real quick if you if you like the videos can you hit that like button um, thumbs up and uh, if if you're stopping by and and the content's good and and you want to see more of this then uh, go ahead and, and subscribe um, I, I can't believe that I've already gotten people to subscribe to my channel this was just me complaining that uh, there's no good music anymore and uh, being told no you got to check this stuff out so um, you know this is a learning experience for me uh, I, I'm I'm excited to do this and uh, I, I appreciate you guys coming along for the journey so with that being said let's jump into ideas one Oh, this just came out this year more alike than they want you to think. More alike than they want you to think. Well, uh, I, I don't like to get political or, or, or too much, but uh, the climate that we're in right now, it seems like you have uh, the media pushing people apart, trying to create division, um, whether it's race, whether it's whatever, whatever it is, your, your social economic class, your, your preferences, whatever, and, and it seems like the media is always telling us we're not alike, but the truth of the matter is, is you know, you cut every one of us and we bleed red. Um, so, uh, I get that reference. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to stop it at, what, you know, 10 seconds in, but let me go back and, and we'll listen to this. 2019, we're more alike than you think. This more beat's kind of funny. Want you to think. I feel like I'm on a on a merry go round or something. Like, who gives a shit? He's him, right? People don't like it. Don't listen to the music. You know, it's 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 a pretty cut and dry thing. You either like stuff or you don't. You know, I don't like uh. I don't like certain types of food, so I just don't go to the restaurants. I don't go there because what am I going to do? Eat it and bitch? I mean, come on, get over yourself. Uh, you don't like it? Leave it alone. It doesn't mean you have to sit there and rag on people. Um, I wonder if that's kind of like what he goes through that people just give him such a hard time. Wait, dude's been interviewed by Rolling Stone? Wow. Um, that's cool. I I hope they did him justice. I mean, they're kind of, in my mind, they're a little bit of pieces of shit for some of the stuff they do. They they like to make people look really bad. Um, you know, they had that whole article about that, that girl that was raped and then the whole thing turned out it was fake. And, and that just, that to me, just like, I lost all... I'll respect for them after that. Do your research. Don't 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 do stuff like that. So. Yeah, I rock them panels, banner quick or pick you up a tissue. Rolling stone, go check the issue. They hit my line for interview. Sit with me in my backyard and learn that they can't fit my mental. And you know why? Because I'm an intelligent species, metaphorically throwing feces, following a trail of Reese's species to a level the devil can't even see me. So when I reach the maximum, I'ma need a case of maxims, bruh. Cause I'ma fuck the game up till it's the tops of skulls I'm pissing out of. Oh my god, what was that? That was dope as hell. He just went like full on like acapella, like off script, like here we go. 
Let me just tell you all this crap about me. Oh my God, that was insane. I went here again. Tissue, Rolling Stone, go check the issue. They hit my line for interview. Sit with me in my backyard and learn that they can't fit my mental. And you know why? Because I'm an intelligent species, metaphorically throwing feces, following a trail of Reese's. Metaphorically throwing feces. So, you mess with him, he's going to shit all over you. Cool. I dig it. Um, real quick, I just want to say some something that I noticed. Uh, his his grasp of language is pretty deep. I mean, the guy is pretty smart. He's he's intelligent. Species to a level the devil can't even see me. So when I reach the maximum, I'm gonna need a case of maxims, bruh. Cause I'm gonna fuck the game up till it's the tops of skulls I'm pissing out of. Ooh. Uh, I'm Caucasian, but not a racist. Not even on the white East occasion. So bye bye with Facebook blaming it's your own fault if your business faded. I'm nothing. Facebook blaming, okay. So again, uh, these I ain't even gonna call them SJWs because they're just pussy hide behind a keyboard people that talk shit on Facebook. Uh, I got no no time for them, uh, no no respect for them. Uh, they, you know, grow the hell up, go get a life. I just caught that. It's your own fault if your business faded. I mean, people have to understand that you can you can get help. You can get signed. You can get, you know, hired. You can get whatever. You go do the work or you don't get paid, period. If your business fades, it's your own damn fault, period. You know, you want success, work harder. It's it's that simple. I've, I've had success. I've failed. I've failed. I've failed and then had success again. And then I failed and then failed and then I had success again. It's just, it's life, man. You know, but you're not going to, you know, my wife always says, uh, 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 you can get the job, but if you don't go to work, you ain't going to get paid. So. So bye bye with Facebook blaming it's your own fault if your business faded. I'm nothing like what I put out to be. Trying to be an icon, ironically. A little old school when they call me Iraq Z. Enough new age to be like. Oh, what do you know about an Iraq Z? Oh, Lord. Tell me he has, he, he has knowledge that he must. Holy crap. That was like the dope dope Camaro to have. I mean, you could have a Camaro, okay, but the IROC Z, that had the body kit on it, that had all, that had everything. Uh, had the rear rear spoiler, had the, oh my gosh, yeah, that thing was dope. And they made a convertible, and that thing was dope too. Wait, what was that? So it's true. He's, he's just spitting raps with a country accent. He's he's just talking about life. He's probably had you know growing up had limited experience of getting out into the into the big cities and all that other stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, oh boy. And uh, you know so that's that's his life. It's what you it's what you know. You know when I was a kid, I everything for us was BMX bikes and and riding in rock quarries and and uh uh you know a few times breaking through chain link fences and going into some places we probably shouldn't have because it looked like a great place to ride and then you know got older and got a car and and then it was all about all that stuff and you know our our our, our fun times and everybody just you know copping beer and and whatever and going up and and uh you know hanging out in the canyon together uh i remember the first time that I found out that beer didn't cost 20 bucks because I was paying 20 bucks outside of a Circle K. And, uh, and 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 one time the dude came back and gave me $10 back. I was like, what the hell? And then I realized everybody was charging me 20. It was probably like five bucks back then. I mean, it was so cheap. But, uh, you know, it's just it's just life. It's just growing up. It's the stuff you do when you're growing up. So. Wasn't that, wasn't that, um, we can talk about it, uh, Kenny, when we, when Kenny first started showing me about reaction videos, we watched, um, the, the Eminem, uh, 
uh, Machine Gun Kelly thing. Um, and, and I think that part is from the Machine Gun Kelly song. Something about talk about it. Uh, which, by the way, um, you know, I don't know the guy personally, nothing about MGK, but I, I think he was stupid to go after Eminem. Uh, I understand that, you know, M said something about him, but he started it, and, and you just, you know, sometimes I think people need to do their research before they before they go attacking somebody. Uh, it, 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 you know, uh, doesn't usually turn out too good. But, uh, and that one didn't for him. I mean, after that, all I heard was he was acting or something. I guess now he's got music out again or something. So, uh, not, he's not really my cup of tea, but, um, you know, uh, I dig that. And he used that line. That's, that's gotta be from there. Okay, he is, because he said last year's beef. No way. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Is he gonna do a, a whole lot of Rugrats thing? He said, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so awesome. I was, I, you know, I got kids that, that watch Rugrats, so I, I'm familiar with the show. Um, that was dope. I've never heard of a rapper throwing something like that in there. That is dope as can be. Okay, that's a good line. That's a good line. Um, he's, I've heard him reference some, uh, I'm assuming they're artists, something about Jeezy in 05. Uh, I'm assuming he's a, a rapper or something. Um, I've heard him reference other artists in his music. Uh, uh, I think he talked about Waylon Jennings and um, Johnny Cash. and So it's kind of like he's referencing the things that he he must have that must have influenced him that like he grew up on and that's pretty cool it, it tells you that the guy's got a, a a level of diversity in his background uh which is probably why he's able to do you know this is a completely different style this is just like comedy rap to me this is like you know it says hi diaz i'm assuming he just got stoned and, and wrote some shit so uh i dig it i'm showing you that i embrace the roots of all our roots because that's how i was made different roots brewed up in a cup so take a drink of this product I'm a dose of Kenny Chesney. He's a country guy. 50 Cent, of course, I know him. And 90s born. And uh, when I watched uh, Pond Creek Road, I noted that it sounded a lot like um, Alice in Chains. And I wonder if he has that influence in his background because 90s, it was, that was that era. It was the grunge scene. It was, you know, uh, rap was taking a huge turn from what it was in the in the 80s. Uh, uh, so yeah, interesting. Church. You know, the biggest white hip hop icon ever once said, I am whatever you say I am. And if I wasn't, then why would I say I am? Okay. I never got that. Like I, I listened to Eminem when he first came out. Uh, and I, and I heard that and I was like, I am what I say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? Well, it's like, it sounds like you're trying to, I don't know. It always sounded to me like he's trying to prove something and I don't think he needed to prove anything. So, but it's a line. Let's see. But you know what? I'm not letting people tell me what I am. Yeah, there you I go. I don't even have to tell you what I am either. Right, I just right. show what I am. <laughs> My words transfer into actions. That's the and truth there. Show who they are. And stop being what everybody wants you to be. Church! Oof. It's a good beat to ride out on. 
All right, you guys, that was Hydeas 1. Uh, as you see, Hydeas 2 just loaded up next, and we're going to work on that next. Uh, what the heck? Let's just run it. Let's run 1 and 2. All right, here we go. Hydeas 2. <laughs> you smoking, <laughs> buddy. I can hold my breath and still preach up the epic speeches. Hide this one set following Reese pieces. I'm the Elon Musk of hip hop thinking outside of the solar system. ET ain't phoning home, he's lighting bleezies with his finger. Cause his touch is so red hot, me pointing is a danger. I burn him like a titan streaming on a gaming system. I'm so high, I reach for halos. No call to help my dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I miss way too much. It's like you're smoking in the middle of this. My goofy ray, you stay lit. I just burst in flames, take half those ashes that I made. So, cat, but that was something. Thank all the rest of my saliva lake. In my head, I pull thick mermaids. No one knows that line to your headache. It's a bear with the hashtag Mickey Yeri on the mind. Vision grind day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Stoner, check this. Telekinesis with my thesis. I can hold my breath and still preach. Okay, so he's doing another acapella thing. I think that. Hey, let me go back. I, I, I apologize, guys. I shouldn't have trying to smoke right there but people saying oh man what is this such a bad shit are you high right now duh it's so what ideas for a reason Church. i figured i woke up early rolled a j but i do that shit every day my thoughts come up with green light bulbs don't activate my uv ray you stay lit i just burst in flames take half those ashes that i made so cat but that was something they Dude, that wordplay was amazing. How he turned it into Ariana Grande. That was that was dope. That was dope. Okay, I think he's going into the into the acapella part again. Hold on, hold on, hey Stoner, check this. Telekinesis with my thesis. I can hold my breath and still preach up the epic speeches. How this one said following Reese pieces. I'm the Elon Musk of hip hop, thinking outside of the solar system. ET ain't phoning home. He's lighting bleezies with his finger, cause his touch is so red hot. Me pointing is a danger. I burn him like a titan streaming on a gaming system. I'm so high, I reach for halos. No call to help my duty. I'm in my fort at night, waiting for somebody to shoot me. Oh my God! Did you hear all the game references there? Halo. Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty. This is like in the in the first one when he did the uh, the cartoon stuff. Only well, this time it's it's video games. Oh, hey Stoner, check this. Telekinesis with my thesis. I can hold my breath and still preach up the epic speeches. How this one said following Reese pieces. I'm the Elon Musk of hip hop, thinking outside of the solar system. ET ain't phoning home. He's lighting bleezies with his finger, cause his touch Ooh. is so red hot. Me pointing is a danger. I oh burn him like a titan streaming on a gaming system. I'm so high, I reach for halos. No Burn them up like a titan on a gaming system. Oh my god. A call to help my duty. I'm in my fort at night waiting for somebody to shoot me. Hashtag Chug Jug got him butt hurt like a butt plug. Have him like, where'd that hater get his motherfucking walk from? I learned my walk up on a scaffold that he hides for pocket. Wait, 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 wait. Something about a scaffold. Hashtag Chug Jug got him butt hurt like a butt plug. Have him like, where'd that hater get his motherfucking walk from? I learned my walk up on a scaffold that he hides for pocket jangle. Dirty clothes from trying to live. 
did he do painting or or plastering or he said something about construction but he's talking about scaffolds um he must have done like construction work when he was younger okay you cannot weep through all these vines. my third eye constricts the criticism and pulls you all in his third eye the mental the mental part oh that's dope that is dope let me get back what the fucking walk from i learned my walk up on a scaffold deathly heights for pocket jangle dirty clothes from trying to live my wages ain't no watch to turn my mind like a greenhouse inside you cannot weep through all these vines my third eye can my mind is like a greenhouse inside. You cannot weave through all these vines. Oh my god. That is that is dope right there. Greenhouse inside, you cannot weave through all these vines. My third eye constricts the criticism and pulls you all inside. Black go to the industry, that's why no one sits next to me. I'm black magic in the thicket, needle bang at a TV screen. I'm that I'm that white noise for the black and white boys crawling out the empty well, spitting acid rain on a battle. Okay. I got a question, and I'm going to go back here to where I think he was when he said it. He said something about um, blackballed from the industry. So I wonder, because I've heard a country song. I've heard like a rock song almost. I've heard one that was like rock and rap, and then this is just rap. So where does he fit? Or did does everybody just give him a hard time? Uh, I, I imagine that, you know, when you're this diverse, that... You know, one side doesn't want to claim you because it's like uh, uh, the country side would say, well, he's country, but we don't like that he raps. Or the raps, I would say, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't know what anybody would say, but I'm just, you know, I'm wondering because he's blackballed by the industry. So I wonder, uh, is it the entire music industry or is it one side of the industry? That's why no one sits next to me. I'm black magic in the thicket, needle bang at a TV screen. I'm that, I'm that white noise. Rebel flags, so uh, that makes sense. He's in Tennessee. Bow ties, that's got to be a Chevy because it's not around the neck. Um, I'm talking about just being fresh. Don't let the major make you raise a brown. But if it did, then fuck it, I guess, because that's the world we live in now. Oh, that's funny. Don't let the mainstream make you raise a brow. And that's kind of what I was talking about, about these the media and all this other crap is they got everybody like so freaking triggered it's not even funny uh i you know i i don't like this i don't like that I, um you know you offended me because you wore blue jeans and blue jeans remind me of i don't know whatever you know it's just everybody's like freaking out and it's like grow the hell up people uh that, you know in the real world uh you guys are i hate to say it but in the real world you guys are are acting like little kids uh uh so um you know, being all triggered by everything, and yeah, the mainstream media is part of the problem. So follow, 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 like, 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 hey, homie, can you share this? Look at this video, it's a dude chopping a dog's head and throwing it off a real tall bridge. Desensitized emotional placement for a YouTuber's mind. That's his and then okay, okay, I got that. Here's a video of a guy chopping a dog's head off and throwing it off a high bridge, and then he said something about uh, desensitization for... Uh, the youtubers monetization yeah people are nuts like what the hell is with people that you know they act like they're all uh this that or the other they all care about life and everything but then you know drive by an accident and watch what happens everybody's got the camera out they're all taking pictures of the dead body it's like what the hell's wrong with you you know oh and then they share it on social media nobody wants to see that and the ones who do are sick as hell so don't engage them. It's a dude chopping a dog's head and throwing it off a real tall bridge. Desensitized emotional placement for a YouTuber's monetization. And they wonder why I said and feel staring at the sky. Because it truly is amazing. Church. Is that him singing? Oh, yeah. My God, he's got a good voice. But see, here's the crazy thing, right? That Remember I said on uh, Pond Creek Road, he reminded me so much of Alice in Chains? He didn't sound anything like Alice in Chains there. He sounds like something completely different. I mean, his 
his range of vocal stylings is, I, I mean, uh, to be frank, I, I, I'm jealous because I can't do anything like that. I mean, I was, you know, we were in a punk band. We knew some bar chords and jumped up and down and got naked on stage. I mean, whatever. It, it is what it is. Uh, we didn't have a lot of talent. Um, but this guy has a ton of talent. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, he just said My Neck of the Woods, and somebody suggested that I listen to a song called My Neck of the Woods. So is he singing parts of his song right there, or what? That's cool. That is cool. Well, guys... That was Hydeas 1 and Hydeas 2. I wasn't planning on doing them both together, but that's how it worked out. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, let me know uh, if, I, if I'm if i doing anything that I need to do different or whatever. Um, this is all new to me. Uh, I will now try and do uh, next Hydeas 3 uh, and 4 and 5, 6, and 7. Um, yeah. They're not very long, though. This isn't, I mean, this is three minutes. That wasn't very long. So, uh, with that, you guys, um, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by to look at this stuff. This is, this is a journey. This is, uh, this is something that I'm, I'm looking forward to. Um, and, 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 and I do want to thank you guys. I do want to thank you guys for giving me suggestions. Um, I wouldn't know what to even look for. Um, so you guys are being extremely, extremely helpful and I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have a, a great day and, uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks.